So let's get started with us talking about diffusion. So I brought one picture which shows everyone's familiar with an ink, drop it on the water, and that ink has a very high concentrated molecules of the dye, and they interact with the nearby water by constant, by lots of times of collisions, and that makes the ink molecules spreads out over time, and that's more or less we recognize goes to from higher concentration to lower concentration. So the definition of the diffusion is net movement of a substance from a region of high to a region of low concentration. So we know that these molecules are in constant motion and at the a physical point of view, uh, with uh, some, some temperatures, temperatures important, the molecules are having a thermal energy that leads the molecule to constantly moving as a kinetic energy. So for example, the albumin, albumin is the most abundant protein inside of blood plasma. And that has a molecular weight of about 68 kilodalton and um, from a um, statistical mechanics point of view or physics point of view of this microscopic scale, you can calculate the kinetic energy of this marbumin molecule and the thermal energy, which is represented by a Boltzmann constant. And once you calculate it in one dimensional space, you will be surprised at the average speed of albumin molecule in one side is in fact even six meter per second due to thermal energy set. So how fast that is, you know, the tiny albumin molecule can move in six meter. It's almost the size of the room in one second. Even with this high average speed, how, but we, we, we never think like this, albumin molecule in our blood, um, how they cannot move between different locations in our body such quick way. Yeah, because they are inside a blood vessel and um, they are constantly colliding with each other molecules. So it's not a free space and changing. So think about if single albumin is one, uh, but uh, you know this is usually inside a blood plasma. So they constantly colliding interacting with the water molecule mostly. So once they collide, they change direction. So it's not always unidirectional. So they are changing the directions. And that random changing direction of movement, we call this uh, more of a mathematical point of view, we call this as a random walks. It's coming from thinking about a drunken, you know, a drunken driver who came out of the road and led the drunken people to walk around. And, you know, he can average uh, move, but the problem is the direction is randomized. Eventually you realize the average displacement remains the same. So random works. So molecules that are initially placed in one location and tends to spread out over time. And this process of spreading is we can call it diffusion. So diffusion is a very important um, uh, ways of transport and mixing of molecule at a, a small distance. However, because of the, this random nature of direction, unfortunately over time, the average uh, location may not change much, which means diffusion is a very effective process in a uh, small, narrow, uh, spatial, but for far away, it takes a longer time. So we will discuss this further later. 